in this video, I will share with you a lesson plan for Math Olympiad programs at Chidda. You can also use this lesson plan or create lesson plans on your own for Mathematical Olympiads. Now, this particular lesson has two segments. It's a 75 minutes long lesson. It has two segments, a concept segment, which is 55 minutes long, and a problem solving segment, which is 20 minutes long. So I'll talk about both of them and how they work together to create a well-rounded plan, okay? Uh, each of the lesson plans at Chanta is usually based on some foundational book. In this particular case, this is from level five. Level five is for AMC eight and IOQM preparation. It's the algebra modules first, one of the first algebra modules. And it's based on Gelfand's famous book on algebra. So Gelfand was a very established mathematician from the last century. And he also wrote for kids. So this is a very unique kind of situation when a established professional mathematician, a researcher is also writing for children. So this book on algebra by Gelfand is full of insights. I strongly recommend it to every student in the middle school. So our lesson is actually built around chapters 37 and 38, this one of Gelfand's book. And the problem solving segment is built on the Pascal contest of University of Waterloo. University of Waterloo has very beautiful mathematical Olympiads every year. Pascal is one of them. And we draw problems from there and we try to solve it in the class. One of the things that you should understand is that mathematical Olympiad training is very different from regular school mathematics. In school, usually you have a, you go through a concept and then you solve some examples, like an exercise problem. So these exercise problems are repetitive in nature. So you just brush up the same skill over and over again. That is not how Math Olympiad problems work. In fact, this training in such that every problem is different and the entire program is problem driven in nature. So let's see how the concept segment is built around that. So we start with the division algorithm, the, the notion of division of a polynomial. So we do an example, x to the power four divided by x minus two. So we actually hands-on, do some hands-on division. And then we see the division algorithm which is giving us the form of algebraic division. And then there is a problem related to degrees, which is Gelfand's problem number 140. And then we actually go into a very interesting problem in polynomials. And that is x to the power n minus 1 divided by x minus 1. There is a lot of problems built on this formula x to the power n minus 1 by x minus 1 happens to be sum of consecutive powers of x's. So we do that, but we learn this using examples first. So we do hands-on division of x cubed minus 1 by x minus 1, then x to the power 4 minus 1 by x minus 1, and we observe a pattern. And then we generalize the pattern and we come to this particular uh, this particular formula. So we, we have little teacher's notes here. This is for, this is a lesson plan for teachers. So the teachers, uh, the note is, note is saying that it, the students should derive the formula, this for formula number three, by observing patterns from first and second example. So that's exactly what you should be doing as well. The design should be such that the examples should help the student to generalize into the formula. So then we have a little bit of remainder theorem. Remainder theorem is a very powerful tool to compute remainders and roots of polynomials. And that's where the concept segment ends. Then comes the mixed problem segment. The mixed problem segment has a few three to, three to four problems in every class. Students come together and solve problems with the faculty member, problems from 
not necessarily from this topic, from different topics in mathematics. So every class, you should have exposure to a mixed bag of problems. It changes the whole viewpoint. It, 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 it widens the exposure of the student. Okay, so you should try these, this particular strategy at your home as well. Once, you, suppose you are studying a particular subject, let's say geometry or algebra or number theory, you are, you are going through a particular lesson and at the end of that lesson, you should always try to solve a mixed set of problems, some of them from geometry, some of them from algebra, some of them from number theory. Maybe you don't know some of the concepts, that's also fine, but you should definitely try a mixed bag of problems every day. That is in fact what the problem solving sessions at Chinta do. Okay, so that's that. And then there comes the homework problems. So this is of course part of the lesson plan, but it's not done in the lesson, it's given as a homework. So, so there are two parts of the homework problems. One is of course the concept problems, the uh, concept based homework problems. Whatever we learned, we, we do some problems on that. And then there are mixed homework problems. Again, a mixed bag of problems drawn from different Olympiads. In this particular lesson, it's from CMC Pascal 97. So this is how an entire uh, sort of lesson is designed at Chinta. Um, I just showed you from level five, uh, but this happens in every level and it depends on which age group your child is in or you are in and you should design something like this so that there is a plan that is a strong plan behind the entire journey into mathematics uh, thank you for watching this video let me know if you have any suggestions or comments and i'll see you in the next one bye